After nine days of witness testimony, a jury is now deliberating whether two former Williamson County Sheriff's deputies are guilty of manslaughter. Both James Johnson and Zachary Camden are charged with the 2019 in-custody death of Javier Ambler. Box 7 Austin's Amanda Ruiz joins us live from the courthouse tonight with more. Amanda. Yeah, Rebecca, the jury has only been deliberating for about only an hour so far. Before they picked that up, they heard closing arguments from both the state and the defense. Now, the state, the state spent a majority of their time reviewing evidence and witness testimony they believe is sufficient enough to prove that both former Wilco deputies James Johnson and Zachary Camden are guilty of manslaughter. State Attorney Dexter Guilford told the jury that finding the defendants not guilty would be like adopting an untrue version of how Ambler died. Guilford admitted he was frustrated during his opening statements and said to the jury that there is no way a person could look at that video and say Ambler didn't comply with the officers on scene. Did Javier Ambler die a surrendering man, a complying man, and a begging man, and that they had all of the power and authority to do something different and did not. How do you know he has congestive heart failure? I don't expect you to know that, but he told you. Now, the defense was up next, and Ken Irvin took the lead. He says his defendants did their job and followed their training to get Ambler into custody, and they didn't know Ambler was going to die. But Irvin told the jury Ambler did know, and at any point, Ambler could have just complied, and he could have gotten the medical care he needed. But because he didn't, Irvin says that's recklessness on Ambler and not on Jan Johnson or Camden. Mr. Ambler knew he could die. He was aware of the risk. He consciously disregarded a substantial and unjustifiable risk that he could die from this. He did that. The state proved recklessness, but it's Ambler's recklessness. And this is not fun. I'm not, to, it's not fun to pile on Mr. Ambler, but he knew better. And these men are on trial. They've been waiting five years for this. Mr. Ambler knew. And do I feel sorry for him as a human being? Yes. But do I also have to point this out? Yes. And there's no way to estimate how long the jury will take to reach a verdict. But if they do find both defendants guilty of manslaughter, they could face anywhere from 2 to 20 years in prison. We'll keep you updated. Reporting at the courthouse, Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.